it's Rita Smith again from Online Video and Marketing Services. Welcome to episode 2 of Marketing on a Budget, where I share with you tips on how you can market your business for free or for a very low cost. Last week we looked at how to use Twitter contests to market your business. This week we're going to expand on that by looking at how to plan your Twitter contest. So let's dive straight in. Marketing on a Budget How to Plan a Twitter Contest Presented by Rita Smith of Online Video and Marketing Services When planning a Twitter contest, the first thing to decide is what is your purpose? Do you want to build followers? Get leads? Get free marketing content? or make more sales. The next thing to consider is who is your target audience? What's their age range? Their sex? Do you need to concentrate on males or females or does it not matter? Do you want a local audience or a global audience? You need to consider the cost of posting the prize if you choose a worldwide audience. What are their hobbies and interests? What prize would benefit your target audience? It needs to benefit your business too. So if you offered money for a prize, you wouldn't necessarily benefit. But if, for example, you were a web designer and you offered a free web design as a prize, other people who entered the contest would be your potential customers. Will you provide the prize or ask sponsors to donate? It's easy if you provide the prize yourself, but asking for sponsors has advantages. By asking for sponsors, you get access to their followers and a wider target audience. But you need to provide an incentive, i.e. a benefit for each sponsor. Will you limit the contest to adults only or will you allow minors to enter? When will the contest start and end? You need to set a precise closing time to avoid any disputes. Make a list of rules. Be thorough. Include exact instructions stating what the entrant must do for his or her entry to qualify. Ask for contact details. State the deadline. Where will you post the rules? On your website? On your blog? On Facebook? On other social media platforms? Where will you announce the winner? Again, it could be on your website? On your blog? on Facebook or other social media platforms. How will you notify the winner? By email? By telephone? By post? Or by a direct message on Twitter? What will you do if the winner doesn't reply to your message? Will you set a time limit? Have you complied with any regulations for contests in your country and on your Twitter platform? How will you promote the contest? On Twitter? 
Your entrance will promote it anyway when they enter if you make retweeting the contest one of the rules for entry. On other social media? And how about offline? You could use the press, radio, posters, etc. How will you pick the winner? Randomly? Or get viewers to vote? For example, for a photo or video contest, by asking viewers to vote, you encourage audience participation, which is good for your brand. Get a well-known personality to select the winner? Or use a panel of qualified judges? How will you launch your contest? What can you do to create a buzz? Host a special event? Get radio or press publicity? Or announce via social media? Remember to use bold images and colours in your promotional materials. These tips should help you start your own Twitter contest. If you like this video, please share it with your friends and also click the like button below. I'd also really appreciate it if you could make some comments in the box below on what you've done for your own Twitter contest and any other marketing tips you'd like to share. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next week.